All right, good morning. Hey guys, afternoon, evening, whatever time you are watching this video. Welcome back to another DOY Creations video. I am Jeanette, AKA Soraya. And before I get started, I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High, Yah. So how is everyone doing today? All right, guys, I can feel the fall weather approaching here in Chicago. Pretty excited about that. I'm excited about the spring, summer, and fall. Not so much the winter because I don't really like driving in the snow anymore. Anybody like to drive in the snow? Not me anymore. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning back in to another video. I got some items that I would like to share with you all. I hope you guys have been enjoying the... Um, the tutorials that I am um, putting out. I just recently put one out for you guys for the vest jacket. That's been long overdue for a lot of people who purchased the, uh, the video. And also now you could just go ahead and make it yourself. So I'm getting ready to share with you guys some things that I've already finished, but I, I did not get a chance to come by and share it with you guys. And these are some ponchos from back old day crystals tutorial these are the ponchos that a lot of us been creating here on the yt and i love the various ways that everyone is creating in the various colors i'm not going to say the various ways but i'm gonna say the various colors that everyone has been choosing to make these ponchos this is bag old day poncho number 483 i put she put the numbers on her ponchos and she put the name so somehow the name is leaving me, but the number I remember, 483. So y'all know that I was working on this poncho for quite a while. I've been finished with it, so I'm getting ready to show you the end results. Not that you haven't seen a hundred of these. This is actually my third one that I completed. So here is the poncho. I love it. 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 And I tell you why I'm loving this one even more. This yarn that I use right here, guys, and I should have a picture popped up somewhere uh, where you can see my mannequin actually wearing it. Um, I love this poncho because I use Lion Brand shawl in a ball. And although they said this is a four ply, this is it feels like a three ply. So it's much lighter definitely much airier you know uh and then i love the color now i got rid of the uh ball band for whatever reason because i thought i had the exact same colorway in my stash but i found out when i got ready to pull it it was another color but i'm going to call this um i'm gonna call this dust evening dust so this is or midnight dust. I don't know how I'm going to word it um, on my ISTE page, but these ponchos are now available for purchase. If you are interested in my ISTE shop, I'll make sure I leave that link down below. But yeah, it's just the poncho, very nice, very airy. And I love how Dana wear hers. She always have like a tank top underneath hers. But as you can see with my mannequin, She's going to be wearing it with a black dress. I love to have black dresses on uh, when I'm showcasing things. I don't know. It just makes the item look a little bit more elegant to me. So that is what I finished, y'all. Yeah. I went on and finished it. Now, I took a long time to make this poncho. I'm going to be honest with you. I did take a long time to finish this, uh, this poncho. This is a quick, simple, easy poncho. However... I got caught up in my Vedas and it got me real distracted and that somehow that got fallen to the wayside. But it's now it's done. It's beautiful. And I hope you guys like how it turned out. Another one, guys, this is the first one I initially made using just yarn. I made it in purple, but I only used one skein of the yarn and I thought it didn't have enough uh length so i decided to add another skein of yarn and this is from just yarn and this is in lilac 
So remember this one, y'all? I had just the purple right here. So I went, I looked in my stash, and I had a skein of the lilac. So I decided to add some more length to this, uh, this poncho. And I absolutely love it. So what I did was I went two rows at the top of single crochet. Uh, at first, I just had the, the color down here. It looked like it was missing something. And I started to make a drawstrings, but these neck collars are not really that large. So you don't have to worry about, oh, if I get this, I have a small neck or, you know, I'm a small person or whatever like that or medium person. Um, the neck collar is perfect. And you should see a picture somewhere with my mannequin wearing it. So I thought the, the next color, which was that lilac, if y'all remember, I was debating if I wanted to add the green. I had green and orange um, of the Just Yarn, and I was debating if I wanted to add green and yarn, green and orange because y'all know I'll mix up some colors in a minute. But for the purple, I felt like it was pretty much downplaying the purple. It wasn't going to give it that... Um, elegant look that I was going for. So these ponchos, what I like about this poncho that Crystal created is casual and is you can dress it up and you can also dress them down. And that's the one thing I love about this one. And I see why Dana always having them on because I have seen her uh, dress them up and dress them down. So absolutely love. Let me know what you guys think of me adding the purple. I only had one skein of the purple and I had one skein of the lilac. And that one skein of the lilac, uh, you know, it expands. So this is as far as it went. So I absolutely love how that worked up and how that turned out. So um, the I did the, that, this was my first one. Then I did a, a large size that I'm going to actually be posting that uh, on my website now these right here this one right here guys is anywhere from small to a large I am a size large and this fits me perfectly and this one is a small to a large as well this can even go for an XL but my one that I have um, that I made with the jumbo Karen that is a plus size so if you are a plus size and you're like I need to have a little bit more room. I'm pretty busty or I'm, I'm pretty thick. The third one that you will see on my website uh, was made with Karen Jumbo. Um, I'll make sure in that description you know that that is Jumbo because I do have plus size items on my website. So if you're petite, I have it from petite all the way to you know plus size. And when I say plus size, I'm talking about all the way to 2X, 3X, depends on your size love who you are now y'all i was like i got on done with that and i went on and start picking up another project so the project that i have currently on hook and i want to make another one of these ponchos so if this is something that you want me to make a custom color for you um let me know and uh we can work that out i had this yarn oh man but this yarn right here, this is in the Cambo, but it didn't have a ball band, so I don't know which um, brand this one is. But this is a chunky yarn. Let me see. Okay, so this is a chunky yarn in Cambo. So what I was doing, my initial thought is... I wanted to make a rib hat. So I did a chain. I don't even know the chain. I just I just counted a chain. And then I kind of like measure it on my head. And I want to make a rib hat. And this is very, very thick. I love how I'm doing it. But if you ever want to use up a lot of yarn quickly, front post and back post will get rid of your yarn very quickly so this is a project that i'm working on but i'm contemplating if this is going to continue 
to be a front post, back post hat. What I like about this stitch when you're doing it this way, you see how the front post and back post on that side, but you see it on that side as well. So I really love that. I only had one skein of this yarn right here. I do have another uh, skein of camel, but it's not in chunky. So you guys know what I'm going to do. I like to mix and match. And I think burgundy and camel plays really well. But camel, I have made so, so many projects using camel with yellow, with pink, with burgundy, with black. That's the one thing that I like about Campbell. It pairs up with the next color very well. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is, I, I was getting ready to frog it. I was like, do I frog it? Because this is not going to be enough uh, yarn to do what I wanted to do. And then I was thinking, well, just turn it, making it into a headband, but it's, it's still not big enough to go around even my hair, uh, my head. And I don't even have that much hair. So I'm going to finish it up, make it either, this is going to be either a hat that I'm going to be making or a cow. Now this one, I do have the name of this one. This is the I Love This Chunky. And I really love this yarn. This is some yarn that regular price was $4.99. I got it on sale for a dollar and 24 can you see that well regardless if you can see it or not i got it for a dollar and 24 and it has the same texture as this they both are you know you can't really see it that well but they both have that chunkiness uh i got two skeins of this here this yarn right here so I'm going to see if I can just continue this yarn right here using uh, make it a hat and then this probably end up as a cow. Now I always like, and um, I started use, I started making this project using a J hook uh, and I made all that, but I noticed that my, my hook kept bending. So I'm changing it from a J to a number, uh, an iron hook, which is a number eight crochet hook and I'm going to finish it off with this I should have initially started with this because if you don't use the right hooks for the right yarn you can damage your yarn especially if they're made out of hard plastic and I found myself really struggling getting to different stitches and I it, it dawned on me at this point you might want to change that into a metal hook and so that is what I'm going to finish this off with um, so stay tuned to see how this is going to work up. Is it going to be a hat or is this going to be a, um, scarf? I don't know. I really want it to be a front post, back post hat. So stay tuned to see how that's going to work up. Cause y'all know, if you don't know, I love to try different things and just see how it works out. Sometimes you just got to be trial error. You don't know exactly what direction it's going, but as God Rocks 2107 says, uh, just keep going and see how it's going to work out. I love her patterns because she freestyle all her patterns, but it turns out so beautifully. And she like, I just tried this stitch and I tried that stitch and it all just worked out that way. So I love that. And that's my mentality as well. Sometimes you pick up the crochet hook and you don't know what direction that you're going in. I'll just start making something and be inspired as I'm making it. Sometimes, majority of the time, 90% of the times, I do know exactly what I'm making. But that 10%, which is the most important percentage, I never know what direction I'm going. It just works out that way. And sometimes when it works out that way, it works out beautifully. All right, guys, so that is what I wanted to stop in to share with you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in to the video. I appreciate it so, so very much. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next video, always remember, y'all, yeah, some 68.4 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.